Lowski. Screening. If you have any electronic devices that are going to make any noise, please do silence them now. <laughs> um, I can't see you, but um, I know that there are a lot of filmmakers here, and um, you know, you guys are all amazing. I have seen every single film here, and uh, each one of its, its has its own individual, unique vision unique story and unique way of telling that story and I you should all be very proud that you are here and you should all be hopefully very successful from here on because I think you all have a great future ahead of you so I wish you all the best You know, the Woodstock Film Festival is a not-for-profit organization and um, we are also partnering with the Hudson Valley Film Commission and uh, we have, in the past couple of years, or two years ago, have purchased a building and some of you have seen it, it's the film center. If you went to our box office, that's, that's a part of it. And um, it's, a, it's a great building and we have a lot of wonderful plans for it, but um, it's a big nut to crack, it's a mortgage that is looming over our head, plus the roof needs fixing. So, um, you know, just something to keep in mind if you ever want to be a part of what we do and contribute to our efforts, we will be very thankful, of course. So come talk to us, we would love that. Um, I, you know, the, the, somebody way wiser than me, has once said that it takes a village. And to put together a film festival, it literally takes hundreds and hundreds of all kind of very talented and skilled individuals, from our volunteers, to our staff and crew, to the community members, to the industry members, to, to the sponsors and contributors. And um, you know, I, there's no way of actually naming them all and counting them all, there's so many of them. But I am going to take a minute and uh, just um, name a few, if I may. And please just hold your applause until I'm done with the list. And so, I want to thank, first of all, our sponsors, because there's no way we could do any of what we do without them. Um, first of all, the gold sponsors, Markitech, which is also our founding sponsor. So we have very, very special thanks to Markitech as well as 120 dB Films and Toyota, who love you guys. And our silver sponsors, Christopher Street Financial, they just joined us this year and we love them and we hope they'll stay with us and grow with us. Kettle One Vodka, Sean Eldridge. <laughs> our award sponsors, and they're sponsoring what you guys are gonna be experiencing here tonight. Blue Sky Studios, Film We Like, Gigantic Pictures, and especially the Giving Back Foundation, Lower Light, Panavision, Tangerine Entertainment. Okay. Are you trying to trick me here, Paul? It's not gonna work. Technicolor, Superstar Sponsors, BMI, Tackle Town, Spirits, and uh, Hudson Whiskey, Metrovision Production Group, and Radio Woodstock WDST. 
and also some wonderful grants and foundations, ALPM Foundation, the Perry and Martin Grano Fa Family Foundation, High Rocks Charitable Trust, Alfred Lee and Peter Mayer Foundation, and the Martin and Tony Sosnoff Foundation. Thank you all so much, and thank you for everyone, for all the individual contributors and the ticket buyers. Again, you guys make you know help us do what we do. Without you, we couldn't possibly be here. And I want to thank our key staff: co-founder, director, and fund commissioner Lauren Trito, deputy director Nikki Goldback, operations director Michael Burke. Operations Manager and Print Trafficking Director Bridget Dawson, Music Coordinator Paul Green, my assistant Chelsea McGinty, Volunteer Coordinator Nina Herzog, Deputy Press Director Sean Van Knox, Press Coordinator Alana Davis, Social Media Director Jen Dragon, Press Consultant Aileen Marder, Communication Directors Greg Katar and Shar Harnett of Third Street RSD RD Productions. Photography coordinator Naomi Schmidt, Tom Smith, Alicia Elhart, and their team. Videography Gregory Bray and his team. Venue directors Chris Washington, Daniel Yael, Falk, Emily Carragher, and all of the wonderful venue managers. Box office managers Kelly Lockhart. Award ceremony producer James Fisher. Credentials director Sam Candell. Animated program, animation programmers. Signa Bowman and Bill Plimpton. Art departments, yes, they're great. Did you, go, did you guys see the animation program? It's really good. Art departments, Stacey Anderson, Jeremiah Minuto, and Winnie DeBellis. Original festival artwork, Scott Michael Ackerman, who also has done like this and that. <laughs> Not bad. Um, te, uh, Steve Heller for creating the beautiful Maverick Awards. <laughs> those are those behind me. Tech guru Jeff Cantor and all the great guys on his team. Lighting is Jeff Wilson. Transportation director Kevin Bell. Event coordinator Lauren Vera and Donna, Donna Parisi. Panels manager Russell and Donna Parisi. Registration, Terry, Tracy cohen Kemian, Risa Kemian and their team. Guest Relations Coordinator, Nikki Goldbeck, Shelley Tuman, Gabrielle Kleinman, Barbara Silver, and Gil Nussbaum. Sogadis Liaison, Bridget Walsh, and all the amazing volunteers, board members, advisory board members, industry friends, filmmakers, and community for their support. And now you can applaud. Thank you all so, so much. Now we're going to start with the actual award presentation. And um, it gives me very particular honor to present the first award. And that is the best cinematography, which is uh, the Haskell Wexler Cinematography Award. Haskell is a really great friend of the festival, and he has been here many times, and he watches and juries the award each time on his own. He pays very close attention, I know that, because we talk about it. And for those of you who don't know Haskell, you should. He has shot some of the most seminal films of our time, including One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and A Secret of Ron Inish. He won Academy Awards for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and Bound for Glory. He's also credited as an additional cinematographer on Days of Heaven, which won another Oscar for Best Cinematographer. Cinematography. He's uh, really, really amazing, and he actually has a film at the festival that, um, four days in Chicago. He, the guy who is not young is still working very, very hard. He's amazing. So the winner of the Haskell Wexler Award for Best Cinematography received $15,000 worth of film camera equipment rental from Panavision, New York. And the competition finalists for the Best Cinematography are, and we're supposed to play clips, so let's see if that works. Thank <laughs> you. 
I thought about doing that. Doing well, what? Like, as a career option. <laughs> really? Yeah, totally. that can send me some extremely well-made films. The Haskell Wexler Award is for photography. So there's an assumption out there that it should be easy for me to separate the film's photography from what the film is all about. Maybe my award should say, this is a film a director of photography likes. This year's award should go to Carlos Carvajal, DP of The Forgotten Kingdom. Islam shooting has the realist edge of the documentary while camera moves are smooth and there are sometimes painterly frames as part of the transition to the, to the, let me see, I can't see, <laughs> sorry, to the lead character's memories of the rural youth. The first frame is a lone man on a cliff, a distant, beautiful shot, valid as a still. Then, up, then after a bit of six, the man moves out of frame, a visual transition to the urban. There are strong other world, even mystical images at the remote mountain village. The picture involves the main character and what one viewer described as the mystical beauty and hardships of the people. As a DP, I never think about that stuff. Of course we want what we shoot to serve the picture. Hopefully we get good, good ones to shoot. Carlos Caravaggio is a first-class shooter, well-deserving of this award. I hope the Woodstock recognition will encourage him to continue pursuing his artful career doing features like The Forgotten Kingdom, where the story he tells is as in in integrated and important as how you tell it. Congratulations, Carlos Caravaggio. <laughs> Uh, I'm Andrew Mudge, I'm the writer and director of the film. I'm not the DP. Uh, Carlos couldn't be here tonight. He lives in Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, but uh, it's, it's really beautiful that we're getting this award. One of the things that we did when we first met was watch Days of Heaven about seven times together. So, uh, so it's, it's, it's quite an honor and he's going to be floored when I call him tonight and wake him up. Actually, he'll be getting up in a few minutes. Um, thank you so much. Uh, I, I, I'm really honored to be here and, and to receive this award. And, uh, and uh, I feel like there's other things I was going to say, but uh, thank you and enjoy your night. I just want to say that I'm really proud of Andrew and Carlos. Here's, here's my producer. 